Welcome to another tutorial where we can learn how we can save the data into database. So um, we created a relationship between models and now we need to find out how we can use that relationship in order to store. Also what we have done, we have updated the table with the column using the you know, make migration add and you need to be descriptive. You need to use this convention add to for example add um, whatever you want to add and after that in your database migration here it will say add user ID to post table All right. now here we need to specify what we want to add remember these two tables post table now I think I hit them both correctly post and posts we have big increments increments means this is a actually big integer here if you go through the documentation if you go I mean if you hold the control or command and you can click on it and that will go you through other nested uh, levels so you can read more about it now I mean, remember I always told you about that you need to check this part you need also have the description now what we can do here you can use big integer but what we can do is we will say that here we want to add in with the table so we use the same convention here it is table and we can specify unsigned big integer that's what we're gonna use it will say user ID now this is something that if if you ask me what's unsigned you can you can even make it a little bit different but let's just tell you what unsigned is unsigned is a type that you allow you to permit non-negative numbers in a column so here when we are doing in the database actually we are not permitting not negative numbers here because remember this is going to be incremental user ID is going to be one two three four so it's not going to contain negative numbers here and so that is why we used unsigned and the size of the column will range it's going to be the same but the endpoint starts from minus two point and i'm not gonna just tell you how i mean that's not important for you at the moment so we're going to use unsigned but there also you can put big integer like this and what what you can do just wait just so i'm just going to comment this one first and you can achieve the same thing with table big integer like this and you will say user ID and after that you can say unsigned like this you can achieve the same thing but I prefer the, the one above because it's faster it's in one line and you can by the way read it here I think it's somewhere in the bottom here it is unsigned integer or big integer doesn't matter small medium and where is inside here it is so inside big integer equivalent column very good so it's actually big integer equivalent column but as I explained you what unsigned means assigned means that the type can be used sorry to permit only non negative numbers in a column very good so we clear that part and now what we do we're gonna say drop here sorry first table and we can say drop and column so before we have drop if exists that means the table now we need to drop the column and actually our column will be user ID All right so we have this one let's just PHP artisan migrate and see what will happen now migrated the last two that we created I mean the, the last one that we created this is migrating and the green one it's showing you that it's almost it's all already done now if I go back to here now if I go to posts I will have the user ID placed and if I go to the structure it will be big integer right same as this one same sorry same as this one now we do have now we have connected our two tables posts and users table by the way this is also called foreign ID we can specify which is the foreign key so foreign key in, in this post post table is a user ID but we will discuss about foreign keys later 
So if you heard or read somewhere about foreign keys, this is a, the way that you can put foreign key from another table to another table. Very good. Now here, next part, this is all done. I'm just going to close and um, let's open the app HTTP. So I have faster way going and navigating through this, but I want you to, to have a idea where all of these files are located. After that, we are, I'm going to show you a little bit trick. So you're not, we're not going to do this slow motion as I, as I sometimes I say. This is very slow, but I need to show you like this. Now, we have, sorry, we don't, we don't need, even if you delete row, it will not, it will not be a mistake. So we have post and we have user, right? Now in those, we have relationship to this one. Make sure that you're returning this one, otherwise we'll make, uh, we'll give you some error. Now, let's create, let's open the controllers and put the post controller here. So we're going to deal with this part a little bit more. Now, I'm just going to remove this and let's I want to show you how you can grab the title so before doing anything else I will just say title here and I'm gonna show you two ways actually how you can save to the database and I will say title and request and that will go to the input and the name of the input is title right so I'm going to if you go to the create resources views posts create I'm just gonna save this one again doesn't have to be saved but here it is we have this title here uh, and that is actually how we are getting so now if I do dime dumb title sorry title I will just grab the one field so if I refresh in here I say title of this post and if I go submit here it is title of the one post so if you have more you can do this by the way you can there is another way we, you can grab all of them if you have like a five or six or seven fields in your create for example you have the body you have I don't know name of the user whatever fields you need here so you can grab like this input you can create a variable called input and you can say request and you can say it all like this so now let's just print out the input and you will see what type of result it will be there here it is the token everything so if you have another field here that will be visible there it's array with two at the moment the token plus the title so if you had a post the post or if you have a body the body will be there if you had a message the message will be there now now you know how to do this input here I don't, we don't need it this part in this anymore now what we need I need to show you how you can grab the authenticated user for this we're gonna use auth so I will say user here equal so auth user so now this will bring me just I need to import the class so here it is I need to use illuminate support facades auth in order to grab this user so if I do dime dump the user oops sorry user I should get the um, where it is I should get the rig right so I just gonna refresh put it there and in attributes I have the name rig so if I log in with another user I will have the other user here so I have the user so I know that this user is authenticated registered and I'm that user now one simple thing that we can do we can create a post here and that will be equal to a new post we we're gonna so if you don't know about object oriented programming so we are just creating the object of the class post with a new keyword now also we need to import this class because it's not gonna work so app post very good otherwise you have a you will have a uh, miss uh, you will have an error now we grab the title the title is already there we have the user logged in user or me and we ha we want to save something in the post so this is usually done in the update process 
but we can use it even for save. Now I will say post title and I will say equal to title. So what I basically do, I'm saying that the post, we, in the post we have title and that title we are assigning a value that we are grabbing from the input. That's what we are, we, we are doing. So this post title will have this title that we grabbed from the input. Now the next part is very interesting. We need to say post user ID. Remember that the others to created ad and this updated ad will be automatically generated for us. But we need to take care of the title and user ID. And by the way, this ID is auto incremented, so we don't need to touch that one. We need to only be careful about this two because I want Rick with the user ID number one to save in the post and I want that user ID to be here, one actually. Now, let's see, post user ID, so this title and this ID refers to this value or to these columns here, just to be sure, that just to make sure that we are on the same track. Now, but I only have user, inside the user you can see that I have all everything here as an attribute listed. We have array of eight, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I need only to grab what? The ID actually. So how we can do that? I have the user, that's object. Oops. And I just I can access the ID like this. So if you want to check if this is gonna work, I'm just gonna comment this everything here. And I will say user uh dine dump. Or return doesn't matter what you're gonna use user ID so I'm going slow because I want you guys to understand now I should get only one here very good we file was user number two for example in the database where it is in the database I would have this number two here now our logic is working very good just gonna comment everything else so we have the we create a new instance of the post we grabbing the title, we grabbing the user ID. Now I know that I have both of the fields. So what can easily I can do is I can say post save. And that will actually save into database. But let's check out what will happen. I'm just gonna refresh going back. This is the title or first post, and I'm just gonna submit it. Now if I go back here, if I go to posts, here it is. I have the first post there very good now if I go back again and if I put a second post if I submit it I will have the second post here so our logic is pretty much working we are saving this data this data but what I want you and we can also redirect the users to go back wherever we want with whatever page we want but that's not the idea what I want to say now that this it's mostly used when we updating some information right we can update some information we can find the row number for example we can find that this post ID and we just want to update I don't know the title we can do this we can achieve the same thing with this part but in the next lecture I'm going to show you other way because we created a relationship between post where we have user uh, function and user we have we have posts function so now we can uh, get this one here working our relationship and we can save in the data by that but that will be a different code so I just want you to have this one we're gonna comment after that and we're gonna do the other way so the other way is also very nice and I want you to understand that concept because 99% you're gonna see that concept where you're gonna work or whatever project you do or whatever use uh, uh, developers you're working with they're gonna use it so now I just want you to have it and for that we will need to change something here in protected fillable we need to add this protected fillable in our post model but I'm gonna explain it why and uh, what that mass assignment error will look like so thank you very much and see you in the next lecture I hope you enjoyed this one so see you in the next lecture. If you if you are having any problems, just go back, try it a couple of times. I want you to understand this part because this part is the essential for you 
in order to become very good in uh, Laravel because without saving to database you haven't achieved actually nothing so thank you and see you in the next lecture